Hello everybody, today in this video we're going to look at Roman numerals. So Roman numerals, they are the, the way the Romans used to count, which is a bit different from how we do now. Why are we still studying Roman numerals? Well, they're a good test of logic, but the, the other reason is that they're still in use today. So for example, if you watch a film, you'll probably see at the end it will give the date that the film was made in Roman numerals. So for example, it, if it was made this year, it would say MMXX because M is a thousand. So 1000, 1000, 10, 10. Basically Roman numerals add or take away. So we've got 1000 plus another thousand is 2000 and then 20, so 10 plus 10 is 20, so 2020. So Roman numerals, how do they work? You have some symbols. What we'll do, we actually won't look past 100 today because it will take too long. So we'll just use the numbers, the symbols. Um, you can either do a capital I or you can do a lowercase i. So we'll just go for the capitals. So I is one. So we're going to be using these symbols. So we've got I for one. Then we have the next symbol that we need is V, which is five. Next symbol we need is X, which is 10. Then we need L, which is 50 and C, which is 100. We're just going to be looking at numbers probably between about 1 and 200. Okay, so the way, as I said, Roman numerals work by either adding or subtracting. And it gets tricky with Roman numerals because if you're trying to do, if you're trying to make a number using Roman numerals, there are sort of alternatives that I found my tutees to come up with. They said, well, 100 is, sorry, 99 is 100, take away one. So if you do, if you do that in Roman numerals, that should be okay. But every, every number has only one version in Roman numerals that's allowed. So we're just gonna go through the, the sort of first few numbers. So if I just write down, this is gonna be one to 10, right down the side. So this is one, just one, one, okay? If you want to do two ones, you normally sort of join them together like that. So that's two, that's three. Right, when you get to four, with Roman numerals, you never have more than three symbols together. So what we do, we go to five, and then we take away one. So if you've got a small number in front of a larger number, whichever way you look at it, it's in front of, I think that counts as in front. So in front of a larger number, it's taken away. So that is literally five minus one equals four. So it's a bit like doing simple mathematics when you're doing Roman numerals. So we've got one, two, three, four. In fact, I'm gonna put the numbers down here. So one, two, three, four. Then five is just a symbol for five. And then we have, I'm not always gonna put these lines across because it will just take too long, six. We'll just, we'll just do it like that, okay? Seven, so that's five plus one is six. Five, six, seven. By right, eight, we go five, six, seven, eight. Nine, we're not allowed to do, to put on another one there. So we've got to do 10, take away one. So these are actually quite clever because using these one, two, three, four, five symbols, we can display all the numbers up to, this will take us up to about um, 300, and I think it's 399. And then we need to use the symbol for 500, which we're not looking at today. And then 10 is X. Okay, so these are the numbers between, from one to 10. Looks a bit strange actually, let's put these. Oh, you can see why I didn't do it. 
not sure if we want it there anyway. Right, okay, so let's do, let's do some numbers. So if we had, so we know that numbers are one to 10. So, so say we wanted to do a number between 10 and 20. So let's do 17. So that would be, so 17 would be 10. X is 10. B is 5. So 15, 16, 17. Okay, as I say, they, it should either be a capital or a lowercase i, but we're just going to do it like that for ease of operation. So let's go a number between, um, right, all the tens, so basically we've got, um, we've put them down here. So x is 10. Then we have that is 20, that is 30, 40, you've got to do 50 minus 10. 50 is L, 60 is 50 plus 10, so 70 would be that. Then if you want to do 80, we have the three X's, three tens. 90 is XC, and then 100 is C. So if we want to do a number between, we're going to do a number between 20 and 30, Let's choose 21, so that would be x, x, i, 21. Let's do a number in the 30s, let's choose 37, so that would be 30, like that. So, so once, as I say, you always use the same, num the same symbols to make 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. So let's do one in the 40s. So 49, you can't do i, l. Some people have seen do that which is, it sounds like it's 50 minus one, but it's not allowed because 40, to do 40, you have to write XL. So to do 49, you need XL, I, X. And then some, some of the tutors will say, yeah, but that's easier, that's shorter, but you have to just have one system, otherwise it gets too confusing. Okay, 51 will just be L for 50 and then I. 60, three so you'd need so you've got 60 there 60 and then one two three 78 would be 70 and then five six seven eight 84 would be so you need 80 and then that's four and then 99 as I said, you can't do I, C. You're not allowed to do that because that doesn't mean anything. It's like just writing sort of random gobbledygook. So you need 90. So 90 would be X, C, and then nine would be I, X. Okay, so that is some random numbers. So get ready, get your pens and paper or pencils and paper ready for a quick test. Right, you may not have done Roman numerals before, so I'm going to leave those up there just to give you a bit of help. So what you want to do now, okay, so Roman numerals, when writing Roman numerals we want to write 15, we're going to write 27, we're going to write 89 and we're going to write 100. That's giving you a clue, isn't it? We're going to write 103. Okay, so see what you make of those. Okay, if you haven't scribbled those down, then you can always stop the video as I go through them. So 15, we need X for 10 and then we need V for 5, X, V. 27, we need two tens, and then we need five, six, seven. 89, we need to make 80 first, which is L, X, X, X. And then nine, which is I, X. 103, we need to make 100, and we need to make one, two, three. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Thank you for watching that video. And if you enjoyed that, please check out our website for more great online resources. So the address is 
Roots to Success 11 plus dot UK or find us on Twitter at Roots to Success and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. Thank you.